Thanks, mate. Oh, I need sustenance. You want to come? Coffee? No, I'm fine. God's name. The screen's over. Yeah. Bulgarian porn, he said. Pretty full on. And there's not just the picture. Every minute it... Oh, I like it rough. I like it rough. Oh, oh. Things a little strong for an office environment, don't you? My office. Now. Very funny. What, you don't like it rough? Speech. <laughs> Touching. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, um, well done today. You give good interview. Pride myself on it. So when do I find out? Oh, anxious, are we? Oh, half the fun's the anticipation, right? Oh, that's what they say. I think they're wrong, of course. Interesting. So do I. Won't be long. I'll try and take you by surprise. Oh, trust me, I'll be ready. <laughs> Let me top you up. I thought you'd need it before you went into the meeting. I'd have made a fool of myself if I'd gone in without this. That's why I'm here, to make sure that doesn't happen. Why is it sticky? A little accident. This is forensic work, Adam. Well done. Drink of medicines after work. Love to. Oh, let Marcus know. Will do. We're very bullish on them. Mm. It'd be a good time to get in. Okay. Okay. What's up with you? Nothing. Right. I'm going home. Okay, have a good evening. Right. Ready? Where's Marcus? Uh, had to go to his Pilates class. It's P what? <clears throat> Hi. I'm uh I'm back again. <clears throat> I see. Doesn't look like you. What? Oh, mate, it's a little bit old. It looks more like Macaulay Culkin. I can't accept it. I do not look like Macaulay Culkin. Well, you lack his charisma, obviously, but uh, physically, though, I see similarities. <laughs> That was it. Not having children. Yeah. She couldn't get over it. it just became everything. We couldn't get over it. 
I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't have children. I wouldn't let it ruin your life. I know that much about you. It'd be sad, though. Yeah. There's so much in life that you lose. Or things you want and you can't get it. You have to value what you have or you're stuffed. Aren't you? Yes, you are. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all right. You're right. I'm glad it's over. I look glad, don't I? Yeah, well, hello. Who's this? Frank, this is my new housemate, Bree. Hi. Frank. Oh, Bree. Nice to meet you. You too. Bree? Bree? Um, yeah, make me an orgasm. Well, maybe if you'd asked me 12 years ago. You probably been about eight. Have a vodka line. Um, you two want another round? Sure. Yeah, um, I've just got to go to the men's. Excuse me. You see, it's a bit of a hottie, you know, in an older man way. Yes, Curl, who is he? He's my lecturer. Ooh. Oh, can we stop being five years old, please? He's my lecturer and he's going through a hard time. Ooh. <laughs> stop it. Oh, no, you're right. No, you have it. Thanks. Hey, Frank. Get that grey out of your hair if you wanted. <laughs> ben Boycott lays a dead bat every ball for eight overs. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what do you think of Marcus? He's a good dealer, I think. A little cocky. Good dealers are. Yeah, of course. Inexperienced. A bit naive. Really? I think he's a hell of a cat. Very impressive. Look at that now, is it? <laughs> what happened to the Pilates? Cancelled. <laughs> Got a call home. Tell Marjorie hello from me. Marjorie? Yeah, I believe that's her name. Well, you went home anyway. I missed Drew. No means no, Marcus. You know you like me, Adam. My charm's irresistible. Gotta go, lad. I've been called in. Enjoy yourselves. Hey, Hello, darling. What are you doing here? I thought it might be a nice place to come passive smoke. You, uh, given up smoking? Yes, I have. Uh, it's a bastard, isn't it? You know what worked for me to fill in the void? Meaningless sex with strangers in pubs. And who are you? Marcus. Friend of Adam's. Colleague. Well, let's, uh, let's celebrate with a bottle of champagne on newfound friendship, eh? Do you like that? Verve. That'd be a no. Oh. I'd love some. I've never had verb before. Let him show off. No, let's just buy him. Well, you can. I'm staying. Ah, uh, nothing I love more than watching gardening shows. More medical dramas. One hundred and two Dalmatians. Sixty-five. Sixty-eight. Thank you. Now, do you have a copy of Top Gun? Directed by Tony Scott, nineteen eighty-six. Yep. Oh, of course. Excellent. Unfortunately. You're suspended from renting privileges for a month due to your fines exceeding fifty dollars. You're just making this up. Maybe. You'll never know. <laughs>